In my latest After Effects tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do a crash zoom transition with a slight lens distortion. I'm just going to go straight into it, so let's get started. First up, you want to create your composition and you want to drag your clips in. Now, as always, as you know, if you've been watching these, use graded clips. So we're just going to quickly offset each clip just so that they're not literally playing at the same time. Then what you want to do is at the start of the transition, find the keyframe that you want your transition to start and hit S for scale and then make a keyframe just to set the position there. Then at the end of your first clip, you're going to probably move it along a couple of keyframes just for the end of that first bit of the transition. And we're going to scale it up to maybe say 110, 120, have a play with it, see what works for you. So we're basically just going to do the reverse of that on clip two. So at the start of it, we want it to start at 120 and then at the end of the transition, we'll keyframe it to 100 just so that we get this kind of punch in and punch out effect. Cool, and there's a really easy crash zoom right there for you, but I'm just gonna play with that a little bit more because I want some lens distortion. I want this to be really, really noticeable. To do that, I'm just gonna go to the first layer and I'm gonna select effect, distort, and optics compensation. Then what we wanna do is at the first keyframe where we initially have that scale, I'm just gonna set another keyframe so that there's no distortion. And then I'll move it along to the other keyframe of the first clip and I'll distort it the amount that I want. And then again, I'm gonna do the reverse on clip two. So I'll find the first, the first keyframe on clip two and I'll distort it the same amount that I had it fully distorted on from the last clip. And then again on clip two, at the end of the transition, I'll just bring it back to normal. So as we get this punch in and punch out, we also get this weird lens distortion effect. And I think it's quite a cool transition. If you like this transition and you want to keep up to date with the other ones that we'll be doing, remember to hit like and subscribe for more After Effects videos. Thanks for watching.